Diabolical Rapture. Guitar tabs, guitar lesson. Okay, so this is going to be a standard tuning interpretation from, you know, a dropped A. Alright, so we're just kind of taking out all that, interpreting it as a standard tuning, E A D G B E. And I think it works pretty well here. We'll start with this uh, main riff, the intro riff, and we're just kind of pulling off to an A, a descending kind of pull off thing. Uh, we start here at the 8E, pull that off to 5, and then we kind of want to hit uh, another A with that. Um, so where we would have like that super low A, here we can just do like an open A string under it. So we'll just pull that 8 to 5E, hit an open A. Okay, walk it down with the pull off here. We go 7 to 5, hit the open A. Alright, and now we just kind of hang at the A for a minute here, because uh, you know, ideally we would pull uh, this um, voicing of an A off to the lower, but we don't have that. So we'll do this here where we just do the 5, kind of hold it, hit the open A under it, back to the 5 on the E. Just stay on the A octaves. And then we do this bit here where we'll do a, a 3 to 5 E, hammer that on, the G to A. Back to the G at the 3 E. And then essentially we would go through that whole thing about three times and then there's kind of a split that happens. One guitar keeps that going on the right and the left guitar does this bit where it'll it'll do the whole eight to five, seven to five, walk down, hit the fives there and then uh, instead of doing the three, five, three on the E, it comes over and it does this B, C, B, so a two uh, to three on the A back to the two. Kind of this little harmony that the other guitar is doing. So just a little switch there to keep note of. And once we get into like the verse, um, the keyboard in the background is just kind of doing this A minor to A sus2 chord. Uh, the guitar is just kind of breaking up the initial riff. It does the eight to five open A, and then it does the seven to five, and then just cuts and it rests. All right, so. All right, and then it kind of holds for a moment and then it'll finish it. All right, you can do the A octaves at the 5, open A to 5, E. And then we just do this 5 to 3 pull off on the E, cut it there, and then just rest and just cycle between those two. And then eventually we kind of get to this pre-chorus section where we'll just do this big D power chord uh, compounded on top with like an A bass note just to give it some biggerness, some fatness, you know, since we're compensating from the, the super low tuning. So just 5A7 on the D and G, throw the extra 5E on top of it. And it's just strum, strum, hold that, a couple more strums. And then we do the uh, previous verse riff, the 8 to 5, open, 7 to 5, cut, and then 5s, open A, back to the 5 to 3. All right, do that a couple times. Um, then we do the D power chords again, the fives with the sevens. All right, but instead of doing the little verse riff, now we just drop down to 
F power chord at 1 E 3 on the A and D here and just build that up like we did the D power chord. <laughs> And then we get to this bridge, and it does this kind of fun thing where like every everything drops out except a real faint guitar, and it also does a little key switch, all right? So um, it basically just bumps it up a half step. So we'll be at this uh, B flat minor, and it's nice to do it here. I do the six E with the A on the A and D, and then we'll have you know sixes on the G B E under it. All right, so a little key shift, a sneaky key shift there, and basically the strumming on it kind of hit like the base of it, the EAD, come up, hit like the high strings, drop it down now to an A flat chord, so just bar the fours, six on the A and D with the five G, hit that, kind of hold it a moment, once again, a couple closer together. All right, now drop it down, a set of strings to the C sharp at the four A six on the DGB, Hit it a couple times, just kind of spread out a little bit. All right, now walk it up. We're going to go to the D sharp, and this is kind of goes from a minor to a sus2. So we go 6A, 8 on the D and G with the 7 on the B. And you can give that a strum or two, and then just lift that 7B off to 6. Give that a few strums. And just cycle between uh, those chords. And... You know, once we get to maybe like the fourth time through, I think, uh, we get to this coming back to like a heaviness where, um, and it shifts the key again. All right, so uh, we get to the end of maybe like that fourth time and then just cut maybe like the D sharp minor. And uh, then we just do this big build up with an F power chord, that one E3 on the A and D, just hit it. You know, get the overdrive back on, a few more strums, just... Right, and that gets us into the outro pattern, which that F is kind of like a transitional chord. Um, the whole pattern starts at uh, the D power chord from, you know, the previous pre-chorus, the fives with the sevens. A couple strums there. Drop it down to a C power chord with a G on top, so threes on the E and A with the five D and G. Strum it, strum a few more. To the F at the one and threes here. And then up to a G at three with the fives. And just cycle through those four chords, go through it, you know, just like that. And then uh, every other time you can like alternate the ending where like, uh, you know, like the second time through you can do this bit where you hit like maybe that first G at the end there and then just walk it up to the fifth fret do a little back and forth between the six five six five power chord all right you can do that and then like maybe like the fourth time through you can alternate with this ending where it's just this e string uh up and down uh we go like three five six five three one all right let's mix that in there and uh, that should get you out through the outro.